If you want to discover more keywords and create better content, analyzing the People Also Ask feature is a great place to start. In this video, I'll teach you how you can analyze the People Also Ask feature to find really excellent content opportunities using SEO Minion. So let's get started. Okay, so if you are planning out an article and you want to figure out what additional keywords or phrases to add, or maybe what additional topics to add to your article, look at the People Also Ask section. Okay, so let's say we are planning out an article around how to clean running shoes. So these are the main questions people are asking around this topic. So what's the best way to wash them? How to clean a specific type of shoe, which is mesh running shoes? Uh, what's the fastest way to clean them? And also, can you put them in the washing machine? Okay, so what you can do is add these phrases in your body copy to make sure you are targeting all of those keywords and questions people are asking and wanting answers for. Now, you can also open up these accordions to reveal the best answer according to Google for these questions. Now, if you want to rank in this section, Take a look at these answers, analyze them, and do your own research. Figure out a better answer to these questions. And if Google believes your answer is better, you have the opportunity to rank in this section as well and capture more search traffic, have more people discover your website. Now, as you open up these accordions, more questions will appear and it will go on basically forever and it can get very convoluted and it just gets very confusing because you see all of these questions and answers and links and you don't want to take time trying to go through this entire list here. That's why SEO Minion created a feature that crawls all of this data and organizes it in a very nice tree format. So let me show you what I mean. So if you go to seominion.com, you can install the extension for either Chrome or Firefox. And once you have it installed, go back to Google, do your search, and you'll see this widget on the right-hand side. Now at the very top of these widgets are two dropdowns. The first one gives you the option to either download or copy the data on this page. Now, if you click on the second dropdown, you see all the types of data SEO Minion can crawl for you. Now, at the very end of this list are the people also ask options. So you can have SEO Minion crawl between two to eight levels deep. The deeper you go, the longer it will take. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna click on two levels deep and it'll take about five seconds. So there are 43 results. Now it's set at copy, so I can open up an Excel document and just paste that information that SEO Minion crawled. So you can see all of the questions here nicely organized. You can see the search terms related to these questions. You can see the answers listed out here. You can see the URLs from where the answers came from and also the page titles. So this is an excellent document that you can save, refer to at a later date, and make sure that as you are writing your article, you are touching on all of these questions, adding keywords, maybe creating sections that touch on all of these questions, and making sure your article is as thorough as possible. Now let's take a look at how all of this information can be organized in a tree format. So I'm going to click on this view PAA tree button and SEO Minion organized all of this data in this tree. So this clearly is just so much easier to analyze, right? Instead of going through all of this here, you can basically just look at this tree. So it's so much cleaner. Right, so this first node, how to clean running shoes, is our search term. So these are all the questions under the people also ask section that it crawled. And then these are the additional related questions for these nodes right here. So it's two levels deep, okay? So you can zoom in to view the questions more clearly. For example, what is the best cleaner for mesh shoes? And the second column here has additional questions like, does Magic Eraser work on mesh shoes? Can you use OxyClean? 
Um, how, do you, how do I wash shoes without a mesh bag? So what you can do is create a section around the best cleaners for mesh shoes and mention Magic Eraser, mention OxyClean, and let's analyze some additional questions. Does hydrogen peroxide clean dirty shoes? And you can see some additional questions on the second column. Okay, will hydrogen peroxide damage shoes? Can rubbing alcohol clean shoes? Toothpaste? Right? So you can create another section here talking about hydrogen peroxide and just go through here and analyze it. Now, as I hover over the questions, you can see the page title, you can see the answer, and then the link for that answer. You can even close some of the nodes to make it more clear and easy to read the entire chart. You can also show vertical. Now, this is another format. I personally like the horizontal format. You can also open all nodes. So say for example, you closed a couple here. You can click on open all nodes and then those nodes that you've closed will be back open. You can also save this as a PNG and you can share it and refer to it at a later date. So clearly you can see this is such a nicer way to analyze the people also ask section so you can find some keywords phrases to add to your article also figure out what additional topics you may want to add to your piece of content so hopefully you thought this video was helpful if you did please hit that like button subscribe to our channel and if you want to check out our other videos feel free to click any of the ones on the screen thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one